All right, so today we're going to start talking about patterns and tables, and I know by now that you've probably um, watched something on it or talked about it with your teacher, different things like that, um, but today we're going to fill out our anchor chart on it. So patterns and tables, it's like a magic machine. One number goes in and another number comes out, and you guys have been working on these since probably second, third grade, um, and you just haven't realized what you're doing. Um, so up here you can see that I have an example and I'll bring you a little bit closer so that way you can see it. I have two and two somehow changes to four if you look at the, or two somehow changes to 24 if you look at the red. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. Um, so as you're looking at this, how can I make two into 24? What is it that I have to do? Think about the operation. Think about um, what I'm going to have to do. So take just a second. Think about the, think about that real quick. All right, what do you think? What am I going to have to do in order to change 2 into 24? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Let's start there. Hmm, well, is there anything that I can multiply 2 by to get 24? Yeah, I can. I can multiply by 12. So the first thing for this example is I'm going to multiply 2 by 12 to get 24, and that would be my pattern going through my table. Um, but then you also see that I have blue arrows, and they're going backwards. So how could I make 24 into 2? I mean, we know that multiplying and dividing are opposite operations, so is there any way that I could use division to make 24 into 2? Yeah, I could do like I did times 12, except for this time I would just be dividing by 12. So depending on which way you're looking at it, depends on the operation that you would use. So if I'm going from 2 to 24, I would times 12. If I'm going from 24 to 2, I would divide by 12. So when we talk about patterns and tables, rules can be either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, or they can be more than one operation. So I have a couple examples right down here. You'll see three different examples. We're going to look at this green example first. I have in and then out. So you can think about um, a magic machine and kind of think about it like this. I put 18 into my machine, and then I push out 6. I put 24 into my machine, and I push out 8. And I put, 20, I put 36 into my machine, and I push out 12. So look at the pattern there. What could you do to 18 to get 6? What could you do to 24 to get 8? What could you do to 36 to get 12? So take a second. Think about that. So what do you think? What could I do to 18 to get 6? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Well, if I think about my multiples, I know that 6 times 3 equals 18. And if I look, 8 times 3 gives me 24. 12 times 3 gives me 36. But I don't want to go backwards. I'm putting in and then I'm getting out. So I've got to go this way. So instead of multiplying, what operation could I do? I could divide. So I know that 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. I know that 24 divided by 3 gives me 8, and I know that 36 divided by 3 gives me 12. So therefore, my rule for this one is that I'm going to divide by 3. Now, if you look down at the bottom two, you'll, you should kind of notice these because these are x and y's. So just like we can use these numbers on these bottom two um, tables, to make a graph, and we can graph those, which you're going to see later on. Um, for right now, we're just going to focus on the tables and focus on the patterns that we have um, throughout. So if you look at this table right here first, we're still just talking about run one rule. So we look at our x, and it, you put 1 in, you get 12 out. I put 2 in, I get 24 out. I put 3 in, I get 36 out. And I put 5 in, I get 60 out. Take 30 seconds, talk about it with the person that you're sitting next to, um, and see if you guys can figure out what the rule to this table is. Remember that it goes across this way.
Okay, so talk about that real quick. All right, what do you guys think? What could my rule be here? Um, I can look at them and I know 1 to 12. Well, I know that if I add 11 to 1, that would give me 12. Two, if I add 11 to 2, does that give me 24? Well, let's see. Hold on. I have to do the math over here. 11 plus 2. Uh, that gives me 13. So plus 11 isn't the rule. Um, let's see. I can't subtract because I'm getting bigger. I couldn't divide because I'm getting bigger. So let's think about multiplying. 1 to 12. What can I multiply 1 by to get to 12? 12, right. 1 times 12 is 12. What about 2? Is 2 times 12 24? Yeah. What about 3? 3 times 12 36? Yep, that checks off. What about 5? 5 times 12 60? Yeah. So my rule for this chart right here is going to be to multiply times 12. So most of the time, it'll want you to write your rules separately. So over here, I'm going to write rules, and it's going to be times 12. All right, in my last chart over here, this table, is go its rule is going to be more than one operation. So I'm going to have to do more than add, subtract, multiply, or divide in order to get what the pattern is. So our x is 3, so I put in 3, I get out 10. I put in 6, I get out 19. I put, out, I put in 9, I get out 28. And I put in 12, and I get out 37. So let's think about those, and let's talk about those real quick. I'm getting bigger each time. So I know that it's not going to be division as my first operation, and it's not going to be subtraction as my first operation. You can already tell that. I'm going to either add or multiply. So I told you it's more than one operation, so I know it's not just going to be 3 plus 7. So if we can't do 3 plus 7, let's think about it. Let's start at 3 plus 5, see if we can figure it out. So if I do 3 plus 5, that's going to give me 8, and then 8 plus 2 is 10. Well, I said we couldn't plus 7, but that's kind of just what I did there, right? So let's try something with multiplication. If I do 3 times 2, that gives me 6, plus 4, that gives me 10. So let's try that down here. 6, plus, six times 2 is 12, plus 4, does that give me 19? Let's see, let's work it out over here. I know that 6 times 2 is 12 plus 4. That gives me 16. That doesn't give me 19, so I know that can't be it. So let's try 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then I have to add 1. That's 10. 6 times 3 is 18. Add 1. 19. 9 times 3 is 27. Add 1. 28. I think we're caught catching on to something. 12 times 3 is 36, plus 1 is 37. So does that rule work for us? Yeah, it does. So for this one, it's going to be times 3 plus 1. Times 3 plus 1. Times 3 plus 1. Times 3 plus 1. So our rule, you're going to multiply by 3, and then you're going to add 1. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. We're going to continue to talk more about this, so please don't panic if you don't get it right yet, okay?